Uh, Jeremy Liquis with SolarSportsman.com. Uh, we're here at the St. Paul Ice Show. I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, the new battery technology that's out there for flashers and cameras. Most people out there use, run a lead acid battery. It's the most common battery that, that comes in most of your electronic equipment. Uh, but there is some new technology out. Uh, the lithium ion battery. You'll find it in ion augers and uh, some other products that's a magnesium based. These are actually lithium iron phosphate. Uh, it's a little bit more stable and one of the big things you want to look for is a good battery management system in these. It's not a chemical reaction like your lead acids, uh, it's actually a little electronic component, uh, component that runs the energy out and back in. Uh, they're very efficient, they're uh, 96 to 98 percent efficient versus 35 uh, percent efficient uh, like the lead acid. You also get a lot longer run time, the reason being is because the lead acid batteries you can only get 50% depth of discharge with these batteries you can go all the way down to 80% depth of discharge and once you hit 80% this battery management system will actually shut the battery off and protect it from getting too deep a discharge uh, for a long time use. Uh, this particular battery if you went out and fished for eight hours a day and charged it up you could fish eight hours a day every day for 365 days a year for over 15 years and they'll still have 80% of its original capacity. On one charge, this will run an FL18 for over 30, uh, 30 hours straight. So if a guy's going up north, fishes a little bit Friday night, all day Saturday, most of the day Sunday, uh, these batteries, you can do it without having to recharge and, and find a spot on the ice. So some of the quick features of the differences, just feature being, uh, first off with the lead acid and the lithium ion, when you pick up the lithium ion, you'll notice it's far, far lighter. Uh, this particular seven, uh, amp weighs about 2.2 pounds. Uh, most of your lead acids are around about five and a half. And then the depth of discharge, the reason you get longer run times is you can only use about half of the power with the lead acid. Whereas you can use 80% of the power of the charge of a lithium ion. Also, with the lithium ion, the power output is consistent throughout the whole charge. So whether it's fully charged or almost discharged, how it affects your electronics will be the exact same. Whereas with the lead acid, you'll notice when it starts to get a lower charge that your flasher may start getting some blips and stuff like that. You don't get that with the lithium ion. Uh, you get quality runtime all the way through the charge and using all the available power. And then with our particular battery, with a good battery management system, when it gets down so low, it'll automatically shut off so you prevent it from going to a deep discharge that could damage the battery. One of the biggest problems that a lot of anglers and sportsmen are having, they're either traveling a lot or they're, they're out on the lake and their cell phone dies. So whether they, they want to keep an external battery, like this is the stone offered by Solar Sportsman, uh, what makes our products a little bit different than, than the other things that are out there is that, first of all, they can be charged and discharged at the same time. So you can hook them up in line with the wall through the battery and then into your phone while you're charging at night so that when you leave in the morning, both things are ready to go. The other thing is they're also, they're also solar compatible. Uh, so if you camp and stuff, uh, we have small solar panels that you can take. This one has the D-rings. It's a seven and a half watt. It works great for hanging on backpacks and that kind of stuff. Or we have other ones that are a little bit more rugged. They're waterproof. Uh, they can be flopped out right on the ice. You'll notice the, that it's a rough surface. That's called black hole technology. What that's for is for indirect light. Uh, it makes for a little bit better charging. Uh, of course, the, how fast they'll charge the batteries does vary with the uh, amount of light that's actually coming uh, in, if there's clouds going over and, and stuff like that. Um, but these batteries, we have a couple different sizes. The wand, which also has a flashlight. You'll always have a flashlight, an SOS, and a laser pointer with you, and it'll recharge your phone one time. The stone will recharge your phone two to three times. The granite, six to eight times. And then the slates actually uh, uh, will do a, a phone a little bit more, but what it's really built for is like I have it here, I have it plugged right into my iPad and it'll recharge my iPad one whole time. So if you have kids in the back or kids take it to school, uh, we're talking to a lot of schools that don't have enough outlets for kids that are bringing their own devices in. Uh, this is a great solution for that to keep your child uh, active and learning and, and give them the technology they need in the classroom.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>